Hello there, welcome to day four of the five day blog challenge. How are you getting on so far? Did you enjoy yesterday's challenge in finding three pieces of content to repurpose? Don't forget to drop me an email with your URL and you could win a free coaching session with me. So today we're going to be looking at building your list. So what would you do if you lost all of your traffic and followers tomorrow? How would you get back in touch with them? How would you know where and how to contact them? A bit scary when you think about it, isn't it? Especially if you've built up you know, a substantial following across Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. But the algorithms of social media platforms are changing all the time to make it cleverer, to make it quicker, to make it easier. But it also does sometimes mean if Google do one of their infamous, infamous updates, you tend to lose quite a lot of traffic and you can go from page one to page 10 overnight. So this is why building your list is so important. Now, many experts make it sound easy and I know because I have sat on so many webinars and courses and had so many free downloads as to how to do it. It's simple. You just create a lead magnet or a free download on your website and people will sign up. Now, in my experience, it's not that easy and it's not that simple. You need to have a few things in place first if you really want to make an impact. And the most important of them all is knowing your audience. What do your ideal subscribers want? What's the main problem that you can solve? And what's your method for solving that problem? And what do you love to talk about more than anything? You take all that knowledge, all that research, and then you combine them all. By combining them, you will be able to create a must-have piece of content that they simply can't live without. And that's what your copy should be saying. Their life will not carry on as it was anymore if they don't download, if they don't sign up. And it could be anything from a free ebook to a printable, which are really popular at the moment. So think productivity, time-saving, useful, things that are, you know, like, like day planners, um, time management tools, things like that. Cheat sheets as well, checklists, quick guides, and workbooks. These are all things that are popular. So once you've done that and you've found the ideal piece of content, what you then need to do is make it easier for the subscriber to actually get their hands on it. It's no point having a long convoluted process where they have to jump through several hoops before they get to what they want. So you can do that in a few ways. You can create a specific landing page, whether that's using a tool such as Landing Page Cat or uh, go to webinar or something like that. You can add links to your homepage and to your blog. Sign up here. My, um, the biggest driver of subscribers to my email list um, is using pop-ups. Now, you need to be careful with these. Don't have them smacking you in the face the minute you go onto somebody's website or they go onto your blog. They don't know you yet. They've not had a chance to read any of your content. So you can delay it by 10, 15 seconds, or you can set it up so that when they're leaving the page, it then pops up. Add a call to action in every post, which we've already mentioned earlier in the week. Should be on the bottom of every blog post. Share your freebie across social media. There are plenty of Facebook groups and Facebook um, pages, business pages, where they actively encourage you to share. Follow Friday is one that's always great to get involved with. And then finally, of course, you can go down the advertising route. I have done Facebook ads in the past and I've also done Google AdWords. Facebook ads were definitely the more, um, it helped build my list a lot quicker. I didn't have to spend a fortune. I think it was about 50 pound that I spent in the end. Um, but it managed to build my list by a couple of hundred. So invest in advertising, but make sure you either watch a Facebook ad tutorial beforehand or you have a full understanding of how to pick out your ideal audience um, it's something that I help clients with on a one-to-one -one basis. So what happens then? How do you then take those subscribers and lead them into qualified sales or qualified leads? Well, you need to look after them. You need to nurture them. So I mentioned that I use MailChimp and that their automation and autoresponders are now part of their free package. So once you've got a subscriber on there, have automated welcome messages set up. 
that introduce people to your brand, have nice images on there, make sure that you share your Twitter account, your Facebook, your Instagram, so that they have more ways of connecting with you. And then what you're doing here is you're leading them into your sales funnel over the course of five to six emails that convinces them to buy. If you've delivered what your audience are looking for, you'll be inundated with subscribers. So for example, with this um, blog challenge, I have set up a series of emails that will go out. And then once the webinar's ended, you'll get a couple more. Um, it's impossible for me to fit everything I know and can teach you about blogging into a five-day webinar. I can give you as much information as I possibly can, but to really get under the skin of your blog, I'll need to dig a little bit further. And the follow-up emails will talk to you about that a little bit more. So hopefully that's given you an idea of how you can build your email list. We are heading into tomorrow, day five, where I'm going to be sharing with you some ideas for blog posts that are eye-catching and have optimized titles as well. Uh, and I'll be sharing with you as well a couple of tools that can help generate blog topics. So I do hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. And don't forget, you can connect with me across social media as well. Thank you very much for taking part and I'll see you tomorrow.